Having fire in the timber like this, this early in the year, we don't see it very often. Having a better handle on a fire? Yeah, it's uh, definitely a lot busier yesterday afternoon than it is right now. Isn't exactly the call to lighten up. Because we're expecting warmer and drier and windier weather tomorrow. The team under Sergeant Derek Rosenquist with the Larimer County Sheriff's Office Emergency Services Unit is working hard once again. So the fire uh, about a mile, mile and a half this way. So our efforts today have been to secure the line so that with that anticipated weather, it's not going to get out. He says for this time of year, bringing out firefighters also, uh, we've probably been out around eight to 10 times, I think. A little bit higher than normal. Adapting to potentially a much busier normal is key. So far we're good, but recognizing this as a potential of the season to come, trying to make sure as best we can that people are getting adequate rest before the traditional fire season starts, uh, making sure we're not spreading people too thin. Ears are perked up. What's, what is this summer gonna be like? Kind of trying to mentally prepare for it. It could be busy. Acknowledging that preparedness also lies with the people who have to keep evacuating. I hate to say it, you know, practice makes perfect. It goes smoother every time. They are expecting the same number of resources they've had on this fire tomorrow because of that expected weather. Rosenquist Department also did help out with the initial attack back when the Marshall Fire happened. Steve, you heard him talk about that heightened awareness of the higher rate at which we're seeing these kinds of fires, ones that spark a mandatory evacuation, for example. His message to those people that live in fire-prone areas, start doing the mitigation work around your house now ahead of the summer. Do the mitigation work now. Be prepared of what you need to take in case you need to get out quickly, too. Absolutely. Luis DeLeon, thank you.